Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. This veteran actor, Taiwo Hazan Ogogo, is one of the most respected Yoruba actors in the country. He attended Christ Church School in Ilaro, in Ogo State, for his primary education. He's also originally from Ilaro, in Ogo State. He attended Gazika College in Lagos State for his secondary education. However, he could not finish his secondary school due to financial constraints. From there, he attended a technical college where he trained as an automobile mechanic. He began his acting career in the 1981 shortly after he got a job at the Water Corporation as an auto mechanic. He worked at that Water Corporation for about 13 years. In 1994, he retired from government work to concentrate fully on acting. Ogogo's mother had four sets of twins and he is the last set of twins and the only surviving one. Also, his grandfather was a twin. His father was also a twin. His late father's name is Subai Akonde Taiwo and his mother Limat Aike Taiwo. When he retired from government work in 1994, he started under the tutelage of Ademola Fagbebi as a stage play performer then. He has produced featured in countless movies, especially action-packed Yuba movies, including Omi, Wicked Boy, Bolo de Oku, Obiri Sowan, Obo Blue, among others. Ogogo is one of the founding fathers of the Nigerian movie industry, which is now known as Nollywood. Ogogo is known for his daring roles in movies and often perceived as a disciplined and a strict person. His full name is Taiwo Babajide Halhazan. On his journey into the movie industry, as mentioned earlier, he worked with the as mentioned earlier, he worked with the Lagos State Water Corporation as an auto mechanic for 13 years before venturing fully into acting. As a then, he only concentrated on stage plays. Before he then decided to fully face acting career between 1991 and 1992, he then began his full acting career with the late Muidin Aru Mire. His first set of movies were Wicked Boy, Prisoner, and Merciful God. On why he celebrated his 60th birthday in such a big way, he had a series of events to celebrate his landmark, and many of his colleagues turned up for a star study party in Lagos State. This thespian said this ceremony was just a token of his appreciation to God for the gift of life and sound health. He said, I just want to thank God for bringing me into this world. Being 60 is a thing of joy for me. For example, my Kainde twin is no more. My mother had four sets of twins, and the last set of twins, and the only surviving one. My birthday celebration was not for me, it was to celebrate on behalf of my parents. My late parents would have been happy that God kept me alive. I lost my mother 19 years ago and my father 49 years ago. I'm grateful for all my endeavors, my family. 60 years is not a joke. When God loves one, it's not because one is better, it is just grace. When one attains a certain age, one needs to move closer to Hala. After all of life's struggles, it's only blessings that should follow. Also, this actor said that his birthday celebration was also an opportunity to give back to society, starting from his primary school in Ilarogo State, adding that he visited a clinic also in the Butemeta and Lagos State to support some patients who were in need of financial assistance. Let's talk about his personal life. This veteran actor has been happily married now to two women and they are blessed with lovely children including Ola Oluwa Jubri Taiwo, Ola Miss Shakira Taiwo, Alima Taiwo, Rashid Olonwa Taiwo, Fuad Alade Taiwo, and Kalik Taiwo. Ola Oluwa Jubri Taiwo and Ola Miss Shakira Taiwo are also twin the part of their father. They are into filmmaking. On March 9th, this thespian celebrated one of his wives. He wrote, I have made so many decisions in my life, but choosing you as my wife has been one of my right decisions. You have been there through the ups and downs with me and still standing firm. Thank you for being who you are. I love you, my darling wife. Happy birthday to you. May Allah keep the sparkle in our world intact. Love you endlessly, he wrote. I was acting back in those days. According to the thespian, during that period, they could not charge much and they were also satisfied that they could even be featured in movies. Gradually, they were able to start charging and the highest they got paid then was 300 Naira. 
He said they suffered a lot before the industry became what it is today. There was a time a man called Ogogo for a job. He wanted Ogogo to chant in his movie. When he saw Ogogo, he didn't believe that. He was an actor because of the corporate way he dressed. Then Ogogo was still a mechanic with the Lagos State Water Corporation, but he usually dressed corporately. When the man asked Ogogo to name his price, he said 600 naira for starters. But the man could not afford Ogogo back in those days. He said that the lead character was charging about 400 naira. Then Ogogo declined that job. In 1994, the highest paid actor charged about 1,500 naira. Ogogo was paid 1,200 naira in 1991 for Mo Yoruba, which was the very first movie that he was paid big money. Within a week, Ogogo could make as much as 2,000 naira. Don't forget that he was also earning salary as a civil servant. So then he was living like a king. At that time, you could not finish two naira in any restaurant except you were a gluten because naira had value back then. From the location that he collected 1,200 naira, he went to Adoekiti, where Father Yoluru was shooting his movie, and he was also paid 850 naira. Ogogo became a household name with increasing fan base and has since then been a living legend in the industry. No doubt, he's an accomplished actor who values mutual respect. Also in the year 2016, this veteran actor ventured into farming, which he said was practiced by his parents. Also, this thespian had a remembrance for his late mother, Princess Alimata Nike Taiwo Nitella, who passed away on 9th of June in the year 2000, exactly 20 years ago. He wrote, To everything there is a season, a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to keep, and a time to remember. I remember you today, my mother, Princess Alimata Hinke Taiwo, who passed away 9th of June 2000, which is exactly 20 years today. May Allah grant you our Jenna. Amen. Also, Gugu is among the nine Hollywood actors who are still active in their career at 60 plus years. So many do not know this, but this veteran was also a boxer. He used to be a boxer. And he still boxes in his house to keep his body in shape. And that is also the secret to having such a good physique at that age. So he mentioned that he's still young at heart and he loves listening to songs by Olamide and Small Doctor. And he can still act action movies like Old Blue, even though he's 60 years now. He can still play roles of an Amber movies to tell you how fit he is. Ogogo was honored with the City People Movie Lifetime Achievement Award.
We have come to the end of this episode. On this veteran actor, Taiwo Azan Ugugu. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.